Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install and add textures to your EUP. Some prerequisites we need is OpenIV. You all need GTA 5 installed server where you can test it on. So first thing you all you want to do is you want to get your files. I have this here, um, some patrolling vests. So what I do is I open OpenIV first after open iv has loaded i go back and just drag this here in the sidebar and now i have it here i can close the other folder so i already have these two variations installed in my server i think the textures also if i put on the textures i should have the custom um, texture i made so now let's make uh, one for the uh, light patrol, which I don't have uh, any texture for. textures for. I'm just going to make one uh, texture. So what you want to do is I personally delete these because I'm going to only make one texture. But if you want to add another texture, you just have to like copy, paste. So, I mean, you just have to copy this. Uh, I see OpenIV doesn't allow me to do it here, but paste it here. Or oh, does the just drag it? And you have to change D to the uh, next uh, letter. So you have to increment from the alphabet. So after D comes E, and you can make a new texture for this, and then just drag it here, and should have a new texture. So I personally delete all of these because I'm gonna for now just need one texture. Now that we have this. You want to export uh, selected since it's just one, and you always want to export it as a PNG, and then just save it in this name uh, somewhere. So just save. Now you want to open um, Pixlr. I have it locally installed, but if you um, if you don't have it, just search up Pixlr Editor and you should have this um, greenish icon, not the blue one. So you want to open that. And now you want to open a new image and then select the task underscore diff. Oh, it could be a different name, doesn't matter. And then you can get started on editing it. Now I'll show you a time lapse of me uh, editing the texture. All right, so after you have made your texture, edit it however you want it. Now go to file and then export and always click export as a PNG. And then just select the old file and then save and you want to replace it. Now you can close Plixlr and open back your folders. And it should be here, the edited one. As you can see, this is the edited one. You want to um, right click, replace, and then select the PNG. Oh, I just realized it's transparent. It's not going to look as good in game. So maybe add, uh, like, for example, the hex color of this for the background so it looks better. It won't look too good in the game if it's transparent. It will be pure black. So it wouldn't look very wow. Now that that is done. I'm going to install it into my server. So I organize my server like this. I have a folder called leo-eup where I put all of the law enforcement related um, EUP in. And that you want to make a new FX manifest file where you specify the FX version, so Rulian, the game. You don't have to add a description, but this is uh, required files. So what you do here is stream slash uh, two asterisks. It means in any folder. So it could be even as deep as down in one folder or one million folders. It will still find every YTD and YDD file. And uh, add this as well. 
Now you wanna go to your stream folder. So I um, organize mine uh, like vmenu because I use vmenu on the server. So uh, I remember this is a body armor and accessory too. And I think it's gonna just increment to number 19. I'll just guess it. You don't have to do all of this, but I just do this for organization purposes. Now, in that, you want to drag both of these files. I'll actually uh, make a new folder because these are male, so I can distinct if it's a male or female EUP. You can see if it's male, if it's, it says here MP underscore M, which stands for male, and if it's MP underscore F, it's for female. So you want to uh, drag that and put it into the male folder. Now it's done, but do note if you don't have any subscription from Rockstar, like the $15 one, you need to set your slots to a minimum, uh, maximum 8 players, otherwise the EUP won't stream and it wouldn't work, unless you buy an upgrade. Now that's done, let's start the server and I'll go in now. Sorry, so these were the ones I already made, as you can see it has like a background. And this is the new one we made and as you can see the background is a bit darker than normal because it's actually transparent so it gives it the darkest color and doesn't look that nice if you compare it to the other textures as you can see it kind of this one is just way too dark the one we just installed in my opinion so always add the background texture unless you're a bit lazy but yeah that's how you add the eup